the answer will be shameful. Because some of the brothers and sisters, they have not touched the Quran since Shawwal first. And Quran has gone back to the same shelf, which you have been talking about since we started our classes. If Quran is going to keep going back and forth to shelf, Allah al -Azim, this ummah is going to stay in the same horrible situation till they will be replaced. It's as simple as that. And we're blaming those enemies of Islam or, and they are coming, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his punishment. People who are called or quoted or claimed by others, they are belonging, belonging to us. Those who, are, those who are fasting and praying and, and insulting Aisha, insulting Abu Bakr, insulting Umar and insulting Uthman. Each one of us is even is feeling bad whenever we are mentioning their names and we are not feeling that we have been doing the, the, the proper right to each one of them. And they are insulting. And you know what Muhammad sallallahu said 1400 years ago? Your prayer to their prayer might be negligible. If you look at them, their prayer is so, so intact. It might be so much more than yours. Tahqiruna. You will underestimate your prayer compared to theirs. Your fasting compared to theirs. Read the Quran. But flipping words and flipping meanings. And the Prophet said, لا يجاوز القرآن تراقيهم Quran is not going beyond that spot. Just reading. And whenever you will see how much you are reading and memorizing, and how much you are reading and memorizing, you as a Sunni, you are going to feel so bad. Because you might be very little. And what the Prophet did end the hadith with, يخرجون من الدين they are getting out of the whole deen. The same way the arrow is getting out of the device. They are not even a part of it. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling so bad to, to some of those who are called the scholars who have been saying, our brothers in Islam, some of their categories, we can call them that way. But how am I going to call somebody Allah is saying Aisha is innocent? And I'm the one who is declaring his, her innocence from the heavens. And here is the chapter of Nur. It's called ifk. It's lie. How I'm going to tell somebody telling Allah what you are saying, Allah, doesn't just, it doesn't make me convinced. And I'm going to call him a brother in Islam. Who I'm going to call the one who is insulting the second man in Islam after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The third man, Umar after Muhammad. The fourth man whom Allah is feeling shy from him. Angels are shy from Uthman. Angels! And you are insulting Uthman? And if you will go in details in their books, you will go deeply and deeply and deeply and you will see the, back, the whole background and the source is coming from the children of Israel. Their main leader is from the children of Israel. What we have done? What we have done to protect Aisha? What we have done in our life to say, oh my great mother, Wallahi we love you. Wallahi we are feeling so bad. Wallahi our life will be like your life. And that's the minimum we can, we can give to Aisha, radiallahu <coughs> And how we can do that if Ramadan, if our situation Ramadan is different than our situation after Ramadan. If we are worshipping the month, not Allah. If we are worshipping Mecca, not Allah. Places, times, not the me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, all this has nothing to do with me. I have given you those as a bonus. So you can be linked to me. وَلَكِنْ كُونُوا رَبَّانِيِّينَ Belong only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Out of that month, 
again and again and again. Because what we have been doing, we ask Allah to make it witness with us. What we have been spending, what we have been affording, if it will not push us forward, it has become a knife stabbed in the chest. It will be a witness against us. Those minutes will come, Ya Allah, they have, they have listened, they have learned it, but they have not acted. God. <laughs> Quran and Suyam Yashfa'an intercede, that's correct? They will say what? Ya Allah, they will shit us? They cannot. Ya Allah, we have nothing to do with them. We were supporting them. We are going to intercede for them if they will fulfill the requirement of taqwa. They have struggled to make it in Ramadan. I'm, I never say make it the same way because that's the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did make Ramadan. That is the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did make the deal even between the jinn, the shayateen and, and ins in Ramadan. It was so easy for you not to turn your head looking at the naked woman here and there, which is not the same right now. Because leaders of shayateen are chained. Situation is different. Eating is bringing more, eating more and more are bringing more deviations into the human being. That's the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did make it for eating and drink. That's the reason the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam did say, Bihasb, it might be enough for any one of the human being, Luqaymah, few pieces that will stop, which will make you straight and solid. وَإِنْ كَانَ لَبُدَّ فَاعِلٍ If you are gonna insist on filling, one third for the ta'am, for the food, one third for the drink, and one third for the breathing. <coughs> if you are gonna insist on filling the three thirds, but what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, whatever will make you solid, straight, so you can continue worshipping for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the scholars did agree on that. Suyam is, is making even shayateen into the veins less. Eat more, sleep more, worship less. Can we memorize that concept? Because it is as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it. Eat more, sleep more means being lazy more, lazier, worship less. Is it true? Isn't it true or not? The day you are making, I used to hate being invited to any, any iftar in Ramadan, especially with, with famines. Because they are, mashallah, may Allah reward them. They are so generous, tens of meals and plates. And, and to let them just not to put them down, you are going to try to eat from almost a piece of everything. And by the end of the, the iftar, I used to realize that Isha, alhamdulillah, a'udhu billah, this year, this day, Isha is gone. And wallah, it used to happen the same one. I'm going to Isha, and I'm just standing in the four rak'ahs. And Allah, Allah only knows what's happening inside. And start just for the eight rak'ahs of taraweeh. You are there, but only body. Is it true? Mind is completely different. It's, that is the way you have filled it. Nothing is left to think of the meanings of the verses recited. You are just out of your shyness, you are standing. But that's not the case. That's not the case. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it that link. And we need to take that commitment. Why we should, unless there is a medical reason or why we should stop fasting? Make it. You will be linked till you will catch inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala the next Ramadan. And I'm going to remind each one of us with what we have started with in, at the beginning of the month. Ramadan before the last, we have brother did attended with us. Last Ramadan they were not there. And we have brother did attend that last Ramadan with us, including ourselves. And no one knows we are going to be able to catch the second, the next one.